All right, you guys, we are going to do a little bit of ultralight fishing with this brand new Fluger President that I just got. Our goal today, of course, is to break it in and just catch some fish in general. But the star species that I would like to catch today is a big old slab crappie. That would be a lot of fun. We are throwing a classic little white curly tail grub, one of my favorite lures for pretty much any species of fish. Ooh, it is a little warm in the sun. That's how you know the springtime is here. Look at all these baits pushed up into the shallow. I don't know if they're minnows or tadpoles, but it's got to be a good sign. Still got to figure out how to cast this nicely. size comparison. All right, here you go, guys. I'm gonna go for my first ever crawdad catch. This thing is a tanker. I do not want to get pinched by his huge claw. Oh, he's got something in his claw, too. Got it. Oh, look at that thing. That is a huge crawdad. Oh my God, look at that lobster claw. That thing is absolutely massive. Damn. Water's pretty dirty here, so white's definitely a good color to throw, but even then, I'm not sure that they'll be able to find it. It is pretty windy too. I might have to make this a little bit of a shorter session, but that's okay. I just needed to get out here after many hours at the desk editing videos. We are currently downwind, which I think is a good thing. We shouldn't uh, disturb the fish too much on our way up here. So hopefully that means that uh, if we do find some bites, that they will not have spooked off first and we can get into them. Casting and walking. Casting and walking. Now the upside of uh, fishing this tiny little rod is that uh, anything we hook into is going to feel big. Yeah, it casts a lot better now that I trimmed the leader back a bit. Oh, we got another crawdad right here, guys. It must be the season for him. All right, guys, we've got to try to get him for the content, right? Oh, he did that thing where he flicks his tail and went out under the log. <laughs> this one was a little less lethargic than that first big guy we found. Yeah. There we go. Whew, that's a big yellow perch. And he choked that grub. Damn. He choked that grub. It is all the way down the gullet. Nice. I'll let this, white, this yellow perch go. All right, you guys, we got the first fish on our new light setup, this Luger President. This little white curly tail grub got it done. A nice yellow perch. Let's see if we can get another one. What I'm really looking for today is a crappie.
we are catching some fish now. We've got two yellow perch for the day, but what we really need is a new species. We're trying to get that big slab crappie. A nice bass would be welcome too. Let's just see if we can get some more fish. We did meet our two fish quota, <laughs> at least. That's nice. I have nothing to complain about. Found some crawdads, found some treasure. Caught a couple white, I mean yellow perch. Gosh, I always call them white perch. Birds are going nuts so it over there. That perch I caught peed all down the front of my waders and I had to <laughs> rinse them off. It was kind of gross, but that's what happens. It rained a lot recently, so the water is very muddy and stirred up, which is not very good for fishing usually. But you have to make do. So we're using a chartreuse spinnerbait. It's uh, like one of those pond magic size. So we got a couple things going for us. First, it's not too big of a presentation, but it still has some flash and vibration to it. And with that bright color, hopefully we should be able to have some drawing power. And if there's a fish, you know, that we don't cast right out, maybe he'll come over and take a look at it. The one thing though is this kind of has some crappy like ball bearings in it or something because Every once in a while the blade will stop spinning. And then I have to like burn it in to fix it. I love wade fishing, but man, it's cold sometimes. Didn't wear my long underwear today. <laughs> oh man. Turn it on out there. The weather's weird. The sun is shining on me right now, but there's some stormy looking clouds around. I might have to uh play it safe and keep an eye on the weather, turn around at a certain point and head back towards the car. Don't want to push our luck too much since we've already had a pretty nice little session out here. Got a couple fish, explored some new spots, enjoying the peace and quiet. Pulling good. Is it another perch? Oh, it's a bass. Stay pinned, you got buddy. I'm gonna walk you right up to the shoreline here. And oh he's caught on some other line. There we go. Looks like I got tangled in somebody else's line a little bit here. Not a bad one, you guys. That is a chunky little, like, one pounder. It's got a fat belly. What is up you guys? Welcome back to another Kingfish Outdoors adventure. I am here at one of my favorite little lakes that has a nice creek running into the back of it. And we are catching both some bass that are spawning and plenty of sunfish too. I'm out here with my buddy Junior today. Say what's up Junior. What's up y'all? <laughs> and we're gonna see what else we can find. Stay tuned. What do you want, huh? I'm not planning to feed you. I don't have any bread. Yeah, keep walking, sucker. <laughs> Geese kind of have a reputation for being jerks, but I haven't really had any problems since I moved to a place where geese live. <laughs> Maybe that'll change today. Hopefully not. Look at this geese throwdown. They are just going at it. WWE Goose Edition. And this guy's still following me around, hoping to get some free handouts. <laughs> and then we got this one red bird. Well, it's black with some red details. Sitting on that little 
steak right there. And I think he's having a conversation with these geese and they are not into it. Weird. He's gonna jump again. Ooh, nice. Oh my gosh, this guy's acrobatic. He's gonna go for a bunch of jumps. We got him on the light setup. Yeah, come right here, come right here. My gosh, this guy's feisty. Yes. Let's get him right up here to the bank. Yes. First fish on the shaky head is a tanker. Oh, look at that fish, guys. That is a nice one. Oh, oh, oh. look at that bass. That is a really, really nice one, guys. I don't even have a scale on me. We're gonna have to bust out the measuring tape. You know what, I don't even have one. Oh my gosh, that's a fatty. Look at that belly right there. Nice. Guys, check out this absolute fatty we caught on the shaky head. I never really fished a shaky head before, but damn, it just produced some results. And we got it on our light tackle setup right here. Very nice. Put this fish right back in the water. Let him catch his breath a little bit. You see how his fins are moving? Uh -huh. Yeah. And then he's going to swim away. There he goes. We got another one. This is probably the male. There we go. Another one on the shaky head. They are definitely bedding. Got them in the same place. This one's a little smaller. Probably the female, or the male. Yeah, we got another bass, another large I, I mouth. I think it's a little smaller. Yes, it's definitely a little smaller. Pretty fish though, right? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Isn't that cool, guys? Yeah. Why do you have two fishing poles? Oh, I always use two fishing poles. That way I can try different um, types of bait to see what they want. Oh, there goes the geese. They're having an argument. All right, get this guy back in the water. What, Very pretty um, fish, though. What We're next, off to a great start. What next um, type of bait? Uh, I don't know. You always got to try something different. All right, you guys, we're going to try dragging this lipless crankbait through a big school of sunfish and just see what happens. Maybe we'll uh, catch a bass. Get him, dude. Yeah, perfect. Take your time. Yeah, I see a bunch of sunnies in the shallow. Baby. Yeah. I can't see shirt, but when I put them on, the sunnies are just, you know what's funny? Hmm. They're just around my bait. Yeah, around that's good. Because they'll, uh, the bass will come to see what they're looking at. That, that bass on the side looks very healthy because you can see the spikes. Yeah, man. It wasn't huge, but it looked good. It was pretty. I'm gonna try right over here. You could probably catch a bunch of bluegill and stuff if you threw something really tiny in here. What do we have here? 
Hmm, looks like a, a jig. Nice. Oh, look at that thing, frog. Look at that frog right there, bro. Whoa, red, green, Whoa oh, what the heck? They're oh, they're mating. You're frog, mating. huge red frog with a littler green frog on the back. The one on the bottom is the giant female. And then the one on top is the little male. That's wild, look at wrong, that. Bro. Yeah, dude, he's getting it lucky today. Mm. Look at those. That oh, is nice. crazy. That's a badass toast. You could fish a frog here, bro. Yeah. Maybe I should. I have one. Look, another frog right there. They're everywhere. No wonder they're so loud. Yeah, they're everywhere. What the f you could definitely fish a frog. That is crazy, bro. Look at the colors. These frogs are everywhere. They're definitely spawning right now. Look, there's another pair. I'm gonna zoom in. That's another pair of frogs mating right there. Here's a solo one. And you can hear them all up in the trees over there. Those are definitely poisonous because they said when they're colorful, they're poisonous. Yeah, man. Look, look, at his, look at his mouth. Oh, wow. Look at that. Damn, they're loud. Look at all these. Right there. Right there. Right there. Dude, the frog spawn is on. They're all up in here. You can hear them. That's crazy, dude. That's cool. That's not crazy. I want to see a snake. Oh my god, they're all over there. So many of them over there. Yeah, let's go see. Oh my gosh, it is frog mayhem. Frog mayhem, they're everywhere. I have never seen anything like this, even in Florida. That is crazy. Well, I gotta fish a frog. God, oh, he's about, they've got a latch on. They're fighting. Oh, they're, they're fighting. fighting. Oh, he latched on. He did latch on. <laughs> That's insane, bro. You guys, we got this tiny, tiny little grub tied on, and we're gonna catch, we're gonna slay these bluegill. Sunfish are finally starting to come back in these creeks, and we are gonna just destroy them right now. Dude, they're attacking it. They're attacking it, bro. All right, now I have the perfect angle. Look at that pretty little sunfish. Perfect little fish. They keep coming back for it though. I'm getting competitive. He got off, dummy. Oh, did you get one? Yeah. Dude, I'm telling you, they're hungry for it. 
he ran off with it. Did you not see my line? I play? did see that, dude. It's kind of hard to hook them because they got such small mouths. You need like a two pound test line for this. You know? <laughs> two pound. Like two pound test, yeah. Like the, ti like the thinnest thread you can find. This is fun, man. Yeah. Once we start slaying the the sunnies, that'll be awesome too. Not really seeing them anymore. Maybe they backed off. Yes. That is a beautiful looking bass. That's a tiny little. You could put this little guy in like an aquarium, and, and man, he's growing. beautiful. And he's growing. beautiful. Look at those colors on this little guy. All right. <laughs> this is a cute little hole. There you go. Oh, he fell right off. <gasps> Look at them all go for it. I know. Got one. Oh, that was a nice one. Yeah. That man. was a hand sized one. Put this little guy back in there. Come on. That is awesome, Chris. That's the smallest bass I've ever seen. That's so ever, funny, dude. Ever. Oh, look at that. Look at them all attack it. Look at that. Oh, that's a good one right there. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, man, they don't care about the line at all. Nah. Cause th what, what is this, like 40 pound braid? This is 30, this 30? is 40 pound. Yeah, dude, they don't care about the line at all. Look at that, that cute little sunny. Bro, that's a, that's a... Look at those electric stripes. Aren't those pretty? Those electric stripes yeah. right there. Bro, I, mean, I caught big Do you want them? Like I'm gonna throw them back for you. Throw back? Okay. Well, yeah, we should definitely go see if we find a bigger pocket down there. Chomping down on these. He grubs. chomped on that. Yeah, man. Bro, I look, look at that. He wouldn't let I go. I brought my tiny Archer. rod. Yeah. All right, little guy. Oh wow! Instantly, instantly. Yeah, dude, they go after oh, it instantly. They all swarm around it. They're so aggressive. Look at that little guy. There he goes. <laughs> They're so aggressive. They're so aggressive. Oh, look at that. Bro, they bite on the fall. Yeah, they do. That's what they like, actually. Oh, that's a good cast right there. You're going to get destroyed. Oh, I see some bigger ones back there. Some bigger panfish. Oh, that's it. You're on. Oh, maybe not, but there's so many attacking your lure. <laughs> Dude, that's hilarious. It's kind of hard to set the hook on these tiny fish without pulling it out of their mouth. Got him. There we go. That's a bigger one. Check that little guy out. Oh, shit. Ooh, relax, relax, buddy. That one is pretty. Yeah, man. These are like little aquarium fish. I think fish. that's a bluegill. Or I love fish. that these uh, freshwater fish are so pretty. It's, uh, you don't need to go to the saltwater to catch beautiful aquarium level fish. This is awesome. Oh, they're attacking it. There you go. He took it under. He did. He took it under. He got me snagged. Oh. That. He got, snagged. he got me snagged. I told you, that's what he did to me. I can see my pink jig head in there. Now I'm gonna blow up the spot. You're gonna have to like... Oh, I'm pulling the whole stick. Finesse. 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 <laughs> oh, I got it off. Yo, that's, that was crazy what you caught. Did you get it on film? The baby bass? Yes, I did. I'm sweating, bro. Dude, the polarized glasses make a huge difference. You should put your glasses on. I can see them so good. No, I'm just saying that, like, if the sunfish are back in this creek, they're definitely over in the other creek, too. They're probably everywhere right now. Got him. Nice. 
These are perfect little fish for this size lure, these little grubs. There you go, double. Ah, oh, got all dirty. <laughs> but it's still a double. <laughs> there you go, cheers. Yeah. There he goes. Look back into his hole. Yep. If you set the hook too hard, you'll pull it out of their mouth. Well, I don't, I don't set it. I just but if you uh, don't pull it all, then they'll spit it out. Standing up on the tree, and we're going to catch a fish. Like Tarzan. The money hook. For, the money oh, hook. He got hooked? Oh, he came off. He came off. They all just attack it immediately. Oh, they're destroying it. You see a bass? Yep. They kind of look like a minnow almost when they're tiny, tiny. Got one. Oh, he snagged me. Yeah, he got me on a stick. That's their thing. That's how they get away. But haha, -ha, now the stick is gone. So I can get right up under there. Oh, they keep just biting on the tail. Why is it they hide? They are so good at camouflage. Got him. Oh. I'm going to try setting the hook a little more. Oh, they're on you. They're following. Yeah, they're tiny. Do I have a fish? Oh, he came off. I wonder if there's another pocket over there. Yeah, I think we're getting close to the end, but we should go keep checking anyway. Right with these tiny little lures. You're making it work even with the bait caster, man. That's awesome. There we go. Oh yeah, this is gonna get destroyed. Already is. <laughs> nice. Oh, he did the thing. He got me on that branch again, man. Give me my fish, bro. Look at that. It's caught on a freaking stick with the fish on there. Look at this situation. This is ridiculous. The fish is hanging from a stick on my lure. Look at that. I'm gonna have to go down there. All right, rescue mission. We got this fish hanging from a branch pegged to my lure because he got caught wrapped around there we go got a good one all right y'all let's try this one more time we're gonna get a big one this time there we go nice nice flip junior Wow, the tiny fish are everywhere. Yeah, dude, probably like a uh, a little gold hook. They'd probably just smack it. Oh, man. Oh, 
Got him. Oh, <laughs> these fish are ridiculous. Oh, he's coming after it. Hit it, hit it. Ooh, he didn't. I had like a big bluegill following my lure. You know what else I've been seeing recently? I've been seeing snakes. Usually like at the edge of the water. Check out the size of that snake right there, guys. I see a lot of snakes at this lake, but that is probably the biggest one I've seen so far. Sitting right there on top of that log, sunning himself. Here's another angle of that big snake, y'all. You can actually see his face from here. All right, you guys, we are calling it a day because it is getting pretty hot out here, but we slayed it actually. I got into a couple bass before Junior got here, and then honestly, the best part was going back there and fishing in that creek. Caught so many panfish. We're definitely going to have to do some more ultralight fishing in the future, and hopefully, Junior and I can get into some bass soon too. We got to put you on a big one, bro. All right, you guys, see you next time. Check it out guys, we're back home now, and this is my haul of treasure that I found out at the lake today. We got this bass jig with some rattles on it. It's a pretty cool find. We found a spinner bait that had this swim bait trailer on it that's way too big for it. I don't know who rigged that up. And then we also got this wacky rig, the wacky hook. And also a little PSA, look at the amount of line that I found alongside these lures. This is like an entire section of mono, and this is a huge amount of braid. So please do not leave your used fishing line out in the water. It is really inappropriate. No one likes to see that. Uh -huh.